うるせえんだよ Watch this video all the way through, and I guarantee you will get your aesthetic physique if you take all the tips and tricks that I will talk about in this video. Before we get into the main parts of the video,、um, we need to establish that to、uh, gain muscle and to get your aesthetic physique, you have to understand about one of the following three main factors you cannot gain muscle and you cannot essentially reach the physique that you want to reach. These three factors are sleep, food, Training, we must establish what exactly an aesthetic physique is size, conditioning, symmetry, and muscle shape. It's a combination of all of those that is what being aesthetic means. Let's get into the first main factor of the video, which is training. Now, the first thing that you need to think about is you need to train all muscle groups to have an aesthetic physique. You cannot skip legs. No, I'm sorry, gym bros, but you cannot skip legs. And you will not reach an, an aesthetic physique without training legs. At the end of the day, it's about having an all round aesthetic physique. It's not just about the upper body.、But、yeah, first things first, you need to train everything. You need to train all muscle groups. You need to focus on upper chest as well as lower chest. Now, getting into the first muscle group, which is chest. Now, when we're talking about the chest, we've got the upper, mid, and lower chest. We need to prioritize the upper chest because it is the, the part of the muscle which most people lack at the start and just in general. Prioritize incline pressing movements such as dumbbell incline dumbbell pressing or incline barbell pressing or Smith machine incline press. In secondary and third, we need to work on the mid and lower chest. Now, the exercises I will do for that would be simply a chest press machine for the mid chest and a chest fly for the lower chest. The second muscle group we're going to be talking about is back. Now, people overcomplicate how you need to work on back. Usually, on back, you need to go back to basics and do only two to three exercises、uh, per workout for your back. You really do not need more than that. Now, for your back, there are two main things you need to focus on, which is thickness and the width for your back.、Uh, you also need to think about the symmetry of your back. You want it to be the same on each side because it is very easy to see when it is not. Uh, the main exercises I would work on for your back would be lat pull down and any row movement.、Uh, it can be a seated row, it can be a standing row, barbell row, dumbbell row, whatever you want. But I would focus on those two main movements and then a third movement for your traps. So it could be shrugs, it could be T bar row, etc. Now, we're going to be talking about just a couple more things、uh, when it comes to training.、Uh, going, when you're trying to chase aesthetic, it's better to stay on the hypertrophy route, training like a bodybuilder rather than a powerlifter, because at the end of the day, it puts you at less risk of getting injured. It makes workouts easier to, to squeeze muscle rather than just pushing heavy weights, easier to achieve mind muscle connection, which also helps you with posing better. So, at the end of the day, training for hypertrophy and really, really focusing on the e centering part of the movement is very important when you're trying to build an aesthetic physique. Now, the next thing we're going to be talking about when it comes to achieving aesthetics is nutrition, food, diet, whatever you want to call it. You need to have a good diet when you're trying to achieve aesthetics. So, you need to have a good body fat percentage, which is usually around 15%. It looks aesthetic, you still have abs. Uh, most people say about 10, like Alex Eubank is around 10%、uh, all year round, which is a little bit too lean for me. I usually stay at around 13, 14%. I would say to stay lean、uh, and to, from when you, when you get lean, from there, your main gain or your lean bulk, which is where you only go on a surplus of 1 to 200 calories, maybe even 300,、um, and you stay on that surplus. Eating only two or three hundred calories above maintenance to gain muscle, but at a very slow rate, in a way that will mean you're pretty much only gaining muscle and gaining almost no fat. Now, the main thing when it comes to nutrition is you need to be having enough protein, you need to be having the right foods、uh, and at the right times. You cannot be having just fats and carbs to bulk to 
uh, look fuller, whatever. You need to be having the right proteins because without enough proteins and the right proteins, protein synthesis will not occur, which means you will not gain muscle. You need to be having at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight. I would actually lower fats to increase protein when you're trying to see uh, the scale on which one like is higher than lower or whatever. Carbohydrates are always gonna be very high. Uh, you need to be eating the right foods, not McDonald's, nothing like that. When you're trying to chase aesthetics, you cannot fail on your diet and your diet needs to be properly done. Um, for, for example, things like switching olive oil for a low calorie spray. When you're trying to cook, uh, not, not having any deep fried stuff like chips or chicken strips or something like that. Healthy fats as well, which you can find in nuts or avocado, for example. Healthy fats are very, very good for you as well. And one thing that you cannot fail is water. A lot of people fail when they're trying to stay lean. Uh, and one thing that helps with staying lean and continuing to gain muscle while staying lean is having a lot of water. Because at the end of the day, your body is made mostly of water and your muscles are made mostly of water. So the more water you have, the more water retention is gonna take place which means your muscles are gonna look fuller, they're gonna look bigger. Uh, but I would recommend two to three liters of water a day is usually a good amount to have. And another cheat code for uh, lean bulking is protein shakes. Protein shakes are very good. Make sure you get clear whey, like it is over here. Clear whey or um, just whey protein normal whey protein uh, do not get mass gainers or anything like that because they are full of fats and full of carbs that you do not need yes they have more protein but it is not sustainable and it has way too many calories for the amount of protein you get in it as opposed to whey protein um, or clear whey that is it for today's video uh thank you very much for watching there there is more uh that goes into chasing aesthetics and that goes into um chasing aesthetic physique uh, however, if you guys want to see any other tips or any of the other things that I can talk about, uh, I can make a second part to this video uh, in the future. Uh, but for now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give a subscribe, make sure to give the video a like, and make sure to turn notifications on for my weekly uploads. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.